at the 44-yard line. The Buccaneers doing their part to spread breast cancer awareness this month in the NFL. Plenty of pink on their uniforms today and throughout the stadium. Martin's got it again. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Doug Martin's a good inside-outside runner. When you give him the chance, he'll make it happen. A good job that time blocking by the offensive line and an excellent run by Doug Martin. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. Here's the handoff to Doug Martin. Taken down at the 33. Running backs, they love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great money lane there. Martin's got the carry once more. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense that time. They diagnosed the running play. They got in the backfield, and they tackled the runner for a loss. The Buccaneers with an empty backfield look here. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. Nice job that time by the ball carrier. Getting it just past the first down mark. Big first down. Keep the chains moving. First down here after the run. The Buccaneers all bunched up here as they get set at the line. Zone defenses throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. The jumbo set on the field. And we've reached the two minute warning in this one. First down, offense readying for the snap. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. It's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. The Buccaneers, they can do it all. Once they get in the red zone, they have the passes, the screens, they can throw it down to the back of the end zone. And how about that play? They can run the football. Touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Driving extra point is good. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. And Richardson's got a chance to return this one. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Seahawks now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drop. Baldwin's in the slot. First down at the 27. To the ground. Beautiful timing that time by the safety. That's what it's about when you talk about blitzing. Space the field properly so the safety has a lane to run into and timing the snap of the ball. They did everything right that time. Good job of the safety getting that sack. Well, the defense is going to make you throw it short. Then throw it short, take advantage of it. And that completion gives you a good situation now on third down. And Richardson's lined up in the slot. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 30. Wilson's going to cut his losses here as he slides to a finish. The punter awaits the snap. He's got a chance to return this one. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. The Buccaneers now ready to take over as their offense heads onto the field. Evans lined up now as a slot receiver. First down at the 26. They run the counter play. The 10, and in for the touchdown. Now you know why running backs 
get drafted high. Because these long running plays for touchdowns, that's what you want. That's what the NFL is about, making big plays. And when you get them in the running game, that's like double good. The Seahawks are in shape now to return to kick. He'll have a chance to take off. And he's going to be taken down well short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 15. First down here. The Seahawks this time will go with two tight ends. Lynch is handed the football, coming out of the eye formation. This will be second down. So that's going to do it for the first half. Buccaneers are up in this one. Takes off from the five. Runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. It's first down as they head to the line. Lynch is lined up as the single back. Wilson finds Lynch. Lynch is tackled down. We don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today has been exactly that. Low scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and go, oh, that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often. And what it does, it puts a lot of pressure on the players and especially the coaches to make decisions. Touchdown and drawing close. Touchdown, well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. The Seahawks kicking team comes out now as the offense takes a break. And they deserve one after going down the field, mainly through the air with over 70 yards passing. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. They face first down. Empty backfield look for McCown here. Drop back, shotgun formation. Has Jackson. Jackson is tackled down. That's a good job by the quarterback. He read the defense. Nothing open deep, so he throws it short, and it puts him in great position for a second down play call. Martin lines up in the backfield. The give. Thomas in on the tackle. The running game has been going in opposite directions for these teams today, Phil, but it's still a tight game. Yeah, Jim, simple on the offensive side. Do whatever you have to do to make it work. If you're running it well, stay with it. On the other side, you got to find ready. ways to deceive the defense. Change up. If you do that, your chances of success, they go way up. Jackson is tackled down. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Nickel formation here for the defense. And Myers has got it. And a first. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Second down following the run. We're late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. Wright's going to make the tackle. The Buccaneers have turned it up a notch with their running game today, Phil. Martin's been absolutely brilliant and almost impossible to bring down. What a dominating performance by this offense today. Just coming out and out hitting the defense, giving the running back opportunities, and they are taking advantage of it. A lot of people talk about time and possession. Sometimes it's overblown, but in a situation like this, where you're winning a close game in the second half, you want to control the tempo, control the clock, keep getting those first downs. 
the Buccaneers. Come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. Sherman's in on the tackle. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. Second down now. The defense comes out in the nickel from the gun. Sticks to his hands. And there's only two yards to be found right there. That's a timeout call. And the offense will need three yards here on third down after the completion. Get ready. Grab 38. Grab 38. Doug Martin carries the football. This offense can't be stopped on third down, no matter the distance. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Mounting a serious drive. Staying the Bucks are in for the score. Touchdown. I would bet first and goal with the offense about 90% of the time is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it and they get it done. That is power football at its best. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. And he'll start his return. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. First down, pressure on every snap now. And Richardson's a receiver in the slot. First down at the 24. Almost intercepted. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted, and the guy dropped it, and you just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Split backfield here. Tight ends in motion here. Second down and 10. Just a second, but then it came out on contact. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Time's running out of this one. Midway through the fourth. Shakes off the tackle. Makes the catch in the open field. Tackle down right around the 48. First down. Let's see what they come up with here. They won't huddle now. They'll go to the hurry up. The defense gets the sack. Second down. Late in the fourth quarter. No huddle time. Wilson's back in shotgun formation. Under fire on that throw. He's such a smart linebacker. That's one of the reasons why he was able to knock that pass down that time. He diagnosed the play. He saw what it was going to be, got himself in position, and he made it happen. Third and long. Looking to the right side and throwing. Got the completion. They bring back out the offense to go for it. They'll go to the hurry up here as the clock runs. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Ooh, they failed to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. Takes the knee. Bill, before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all wins are nice. This one was done easy. You didn't have to sweat too much over. You feel good, and you just enjoy the next couple days.